Hello, welcome to Yaki. This is how you can add students to your school channel without the need to add dates of birth or email addresses for those students. It's all done through the generation of a secure code. So as a teacher or as your school's Yaki channel administrator, sign into Yaki. Once you're into Yaki, click on your profile as the administrator or teacher. You'll see that by default, you're in the public domain. Click here and go to your school channel. Then click the channel manager tab. Once you're here, if you are the channel manager, you'll have the ability to add teachers to your channel. Also have the ability to bulk upload using email addresses if your school allows that. However, you don't have to do it that way. And once you've added teachers and your teachers log in, they will also see this area, but they will just see the group tab. What this means is that you as a channel admin and the teachers you add to your channel can create groups. Another way to think about groups is they could be classes. They might be other special interest groups. To add students to your channel without date of birth and without the use of their email addresses, click on groups. Here you'll see I have a number of groups in my channel. Some are my groups and some are other teachers groups. Click add group, name your group, select a subject area, a grade level, and select a teacher, usually yourself, and save. You'll see that that group is now created here. Physics group, if I click on that group, you'll see here that a secure code has been created, 3WKVG. That's the code you give your students. So in class, next time you see them, simply say to them or write up on the board a message that says to use the code 3WKVG. So your part in Yaki is done now. Let's see what happens when the students use that code. Students go to yaki.com. They go to sign up. Sign up as a student. Add their name. Add the group code. Everything else is optional. They can add their grade level, which you have pre-populated anyway. They do not need to put their date of birth. They do not have to put their email. And they can add a username of their choosing and a password. So let me do that now. And then click next. And now I have an account. I'm Freddy Blogs. I can click on my identity here. I have one message that my teacher added me as a student. It's very simple. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your